Hey everyone, this is Scrappy Pappy. Um, today's video will be on how to break down electric hot water heaters. My first video was the intro to me and my scrapping and also gas hot water heater breakdown. So this one is electric hot water heaters, just a little different. So enjoy. There are two types of electric hot water heaters. The single element as you see here and the dual element. You have an upper and a lower. First, we remove the bottom plate and the top plate with a screw gun or a screwdriver. Throw that into the metal. Then there's a plastic insulator. Discard that. Now we remove the wires going from the thermostat to the heating element. The, this wire is actually high grade number one insulated wire. Goes for some good money. And we move the wires out of the way. There's also a ground wire as you see here and it's sometimes attached with a rivet. So I'm going to cut this one away and discard that into my number one metal. Some of these wires can be pulled out with your flathead uh, pliers. Most of them are really secured in there with foam so it's hard to get out. Okay now I'm taking my inch and a half socket and I'm going to break away the heating element. Now this one's a little tough here, so I had to use my inch and a half pry bar or pipe to extend that leverage to break it free. Now this heating element is actually copper recovery, meaning it's steel, but it does have some copper in it. So it brings in a couple cents more per pound, but it, after a long time, you'll see I'll have a big box of it and it brings in some good cash. This next shot on this other hot water heater, you'll see me popping off the thermostat with just my screw gun, or you can use a screwdriver. Now I'm pulling the wires out like I told you, some of them come freely, and this is that high grade or number one insulated wire. Also you'll be removing the copper fittings and the PT valves and the drain valves with your standard 18 inch pipe wrench and sometimes there's tough so you gotta use your pipe again for leverage. This one's coming off fairly easy here and that I'll show you later how to break that into good brass. Here's my set of tools. First you'll see up at the top there we have our 18 inch pipe wrench and then I have right below it is my inch and a half socket with the 12 inch bar that's for the heating element and again I use my inch and a half pipe for the extra leverage also I have my power drill which is a DeWalt I love DeWalt not trying to promote them for money or anything but that's really a good workhorse with a Phillips screwdriver and my assortment of hex bits and then I have here my flathead pliers, Lyman side duct cutters as they're called, and my diagonal. So there's the tools of the tray. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.